Uh, hi, right, this is my um, little circuit boards which are going to control each point on my uh, layout. The idea, rather than having one, having one big central control panel, it's a lot easier to have individual circuit boards for each point, uh, which will control the servo, which controls the point, and there'll be a relay for point polarity. What you actually have at the centre of each servo board is a pickaxe, which is a programmable integrated chip or microchip and power in and it's connected around a ring and it goes to a, another little chip over there and um, this purple wire is a data bus between each chip so basically the control panel will send data um, along the data bus and each one of these boards has an address on it and uh, this is servo 2, this is servo 1, that's servo 3 so it will, um, you can send out a string of instructions um, Servo 2 will ignore all instructions unless it's addressed to Servo 2. Um, now to program it up I made another little board up because I was thinking that basically these things are going to be stuck under a baseboard and it's going to be really hard to program one up um, if it's under the board and you need to be above it. So what I've done is I've made this little uh, plug-in thing here, plug-in circuit basically, so if you can imagine that's screwed to the underside of your baseboard um, so you can use this board on um, from above to, to program your servo. So we're going to program this servo up here um, and you press the button until the, red, uh, the lights go red and then you let go and the servo starts moving and when it's got to the position you want it to be at you press the button again and it goes the other way, same thing again, press the button and that's loaded now so that servo knows its limits of travel left and right and I need to know uh, whether it's 1 or 0 so I can press this button here and that's set it to 0 and that's set it to 1. The reason being is that when I send out strings of um, command data to these servers I need to know whether to set it left or right, 1 or 0. Um, so that's how you program that up. So that's useful because I'll be able to use that from above the board when I'm looking down on the um, on the uh, um, point from above with the circuit screwed to the underside. Now just to prove that it all kind of works, I made this up here as another little, it's just a little test chip really, um, and it's just sending out a sequence of data saying, see little red lights flashing, it's telling servo one to move now Servo 2 to move this way, Servo 2 to move that way back, Servo 3 move, and Servo 3 move back. And then it goes back to the sequence of Servo 1 again. It's really just to prove that data moves around the circuit and each board will answer its own address and nobody else's address. And the little red flashy LEDs, uh, it's more for my benefit than anybody else's really, when this chip sends data you get one flash, that means data out, and at the end of the flash, at the end of the sequence, it sends two flashes of data out, which is telling this chip it's finished, to so go on to the next cycle. Um, so the idea being that um, eventually, when I have the control panel, I'll press the route, it'll send data around to all the servos, switch all the points all the right way, and then the last point will send message back to the control panel saying, full set, ready to go. So that's the idea. There's, um, there's 11 points to make on uh, uh, to wire up on my layout, and um, it's taken me about a month and a half just to get to this point here. I reckon it's about another month and a half left to make the control circuit now and wire these up to the board and all the rest of it. So that's where we are with this at the moment.